guys, it's Matthew. I realize it's been a while since I've made a video, so let's not waste any time and kick things off. So I've got my 12 volt timer here that I still need to program and set up so I can finally get some plants in my outdoor hydroponic system. Programming these things isn't too difficult as long as you're following the manual, but how do you know how often you're going to be flooding and draining your system? Well, we'll look at a few factors that can affect that decision. Now, before we look at how often we're going to be flooding the system, why don't we look at how long we're going to be flooding the system for? So each time that timer turns on, how long do we need to have that pump running in order to get these plants wet? We can figure that out with just an ordinary stopwatch. We'll time how long it takes these tubes to fill up with water, and that will be our minimum of running time that that pump needs to be running to get everything good and wet. So we'll go ahead, turn that pump on, and we'll time how long it takes for these tubes to fill up with water and reach the overflow that's inside here. So it's looking like it's going to take a minimum of two minutes for these tubes to fill up and reach that overflow. I say minimum because you might live in a hotter climate where you want to leave that pump on for a little bit longer. Uh, myself, uh, I tend to keep it to the minimum time. Keep in mind that when you add your net pots in here with the hydrogen and the roots start to fill up, there's going to be less volume that that pump needs to fill. So two minutes I think will be more than enough for this system. Now we're going to need to figure out how often we're going to flood and drain the system per day. Personally, I like to flood more often at shorter intervals, but you might find yourself to be limited by the timer you have. As I've just discovered with this one, I only get 8 flood and drain times per day, so I might end up actually flooding for longer than that 2 minute period. You can find solar calendars online that can give you a good idea of when you should be flooding and draining your system. It'll tell you when your sunrise is and when your sunset is, as well as when your solar noon is. And this is when the sun is the highest in the sky and this will probably be the hottest point during the day. So you want to make sure you're watering at that period. So I'm going to use that as my starting point and I'll divide the rest of my eight on off times on either side of that noon. I'll show you guys a little chart, uh, maybe give you a better, better idea of what I'm uh, talking about. So I've sort of graphed out uh, when the sunrise and sunset is here with this diagram. I know sunrise is about 5 and sunset is about 10 p.m. Uh, high noon or solar noon is just after 1 and that's when the sun is the highest in the sky and will probably be the hottest as well. So I only have eight on off times I can use and I'm going to make sure that one of those is right at solar noon. Uh, from there I want to use one time before that solar noon and a time after and I'll keep on working my way out and space out my on off times until I'm kind of happy with the way they're looking. So I'm happy with this layout so I'll just go out and apply them to my timer. So now that I know more or less when I want to stop and start these times for my timer, I can go ahead and start programming them into this guy. Uh, keep in mind, nothing is set in stone. If you program something that your plants aren't responding to well, you can always change it. You can increase your flood times, you can move times around, uh, just find something that works for your plants. It, even if you live in a very dry desert climate, you might want to flood once during the night just to stop your roots from drying out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these times programmed in here. So 
So it looks like I'm finally ready to put some plants in here. Just gotta hook up my bubbler and I do have a new bubbler for this thing so I'm excited to set that up. Uh, a little nervous about only having those eight on off times per day. Last year I think I had about 20 but that's because I was using a 120 volt timer. Just had a few more options. So we'll see how this goes. If I need to flood for longer I'll just program it for that and We'll go from there, but uh, not a lot I can do except watch and see what happens. So thanks for watching and I hope you guys found this a little bit useful.